Welcome to ECI 546, New Literacies and Media. I'm Dr. Hiller Spires and I'll be your instructor this semester. I want to walk you through uh, the Moodle and the syllabus for the course and give you a sense of the scope and sequence. So here we are. This is the Moodle. Notice that we have th three books for the course. Two of them are required. One is optional. You've got a whole new mind, which I'd like for you to purchase. You can get a used copy and it's fairly inexpensive. Catching up and leading the way, you can get as an e-reader through NCSU Library. Both of these are required. And then finally, Understanding Digital Literacies. This one is not required, but if you're interested in getting it, it can be accessed as an e-reader through the NCSU Library. Notice on the right, I have a Vokey. Each week, I will have a very short message for you through my Vokey. Uh, you just click right here and Welcome there's a message. Welcome to ECI 546, New Literacies and Media. So that's how that works. So check on that every Wednesday. Scrolling down in the Moodle, you'll see another uh, recording here. This is a greeting from me. Uh, you can listen to that later on. And then you can also click on the syllabus. The syllabus has all the requirements and the due dates in it. Scroll down through the syllabus, all of your typical information from a syllabus, and here are the requirements. The first requirement is the forums on the Moodle. This is worth 16 points. You're going to post a reflection weekly. I will grade four of the posts and I will grade those randomly. Um, We'd like for you to post by midnight on Sunday and then respond to one of your classmates by Tuesday on uh, midnight on Tuesday. And each one of your four posts will uh, count for four points. So that's how you get your 16 points. Next is uh, the digital learner interview, which is worth eight points. You'll explore and synthesize what, sh what digital learners say about the value of technology for their learning. And you're going to interview a K-12 student. Um, all of the directions are on the Moodle as well as the due date. The third requirement is the Cool Tool Blast, and this is worth 10 points. You're going to partner with a classmate and you get to choose a tool of your choice and you're going to develop a learning module for how that tool can be used. Within your learning module, you'll actually use the tool and post the content and the product that you developed with the, the tool. Um, again, you're going to be collaborating and we have a collaborative space um, on a wiki that we'll direct you to so that you and your partner can collaborate to produce that learning module. Next is project-based inquiry. This is the big project for the course. It's worth 46 points and there are several components to it. You and a classmate, again, you'll be collaborating. You're going to advance from your present comfort level regarding technology integration to a more challenging level, uh, a level where you're challenging yourself to integrate technology in a way that you haven't done in the past. The goal is to pose a compelling question related to teaching and learning in your class and then answer the question by implementing an innovative lesson using technology. You're going to have several components to this project. First of all, for six points, you'll have a planning assignment, and you and your partner will develop a draft of your ideas and uh, post that on uh, the wiki, which we will point you to later in the course, and that is due on October 1st. We'd like for this project to be situated in the schools, in a classroom, so at least one of you, it would be good if at least one of you were actually teaching this semester. If you're not teaching, please try to partner with someone who is teaching. And then you're going to do two assignments related to this. 
you're going to have a written report in which you and your partner write collaboratively a report about your project. And then you're also going to develop a five minute documentary video about your implementation of the project. And we will give you guidelines for uh, both of those products so that you will know what is expected. You'll have rubrics for both of these components. But that's the highlight of the course in terms of the project. So uh, students usually enjoy that. Uh, you, a lot of things come together. You get to push yourself on the technology. You get to implement something in class. And you're developing a lesson that hopefully you'll be able to use later on. Then finally, we have a uh, a final exam that is worth 20 points and that's going to be an essay in which you reflect and synthesize what you learned this semester and you project your continuing goals for technology integration and you'll be responding to a specific prompt and you'll post that final exam on uh, the Moodle and all of this will be you will be directed uh, to where to make these forum posts Okay, going back to the Moodle, I want to point out just a couple of other things. Here you can see that we have the link for the 546 wiki. When you click on the wiki here, you will see uh, spaces for where you collaborate on the Cool Tool Blast as well as the project-based inquiry. I also have a link here for uh, where it says loan a classroom. If you're not teaching and you want to um, make a post here to make sure that you get a partner who is teaching, you can add some information there so folks can see um, that you're looking for a partner. You're going to get started with the course next Wednesday, August 21st. You'll go to this first block. All the directions are outlined for you. Um, We'll have an orientation activity where you'll get to introduce yourselves by writing on the forum as well as doing an introductory video. And I'll have the directions for that in this particular block. Each week, or most weeks, I'll also have a section called Digging Deeper, optional. This is for all of you who are overachievers who always want to learn something else. It will not be part of the graded portion of the course, but it will be some extra information, some extra tools, some extra uh, activities that you can engage in if you're not feeling challenged by the regular coursework. That's about it. I think that uh, we're going to have a great semester. I'm looking forward to working with you. We're going to learn a lot. I'm going to learn a lot from you. You're going to learn a lot from each other. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. That's probably the best way to get a hold of me. You can call me, but email is usually my uh, first, first, uh, pl the first place I check. If you have any questions, give me a call, and I hope you have a great day.